one person who has attracted a lot of attention for what he has said during this World Cup, as he always does, is Roy Keane. Zara, Roy Keane is now the <laughs> national enemy of Brazil. Can you guess why? I've no idea. No idea. He criticised the dancing. So Brazil... I lo- sorry, I saw the dancing. I love the dancing. Dancing is absolutely I saw fantastic. the dancing and I, I'm a big fan of the dancing. I think the dancing is absolutely fantastic. So Brazil beat... South Korea, the Republic I've of Korea. I've seen nothing from the World Cup, but I've seen the dancing. That's all you need to see. <laughs> Listen, it's very entertaining. It's past the zeitgeist test if you've seen the dancing. I bar- I, can I be honest? I barely know the World Cup was on. That's how removed I am from this. It's not that's that's a bit that's, mad that's, though, That does say it? something about all this. I'm so mm. far removed from it. I forget mm. until I see all of you gathering around the telly in the newsroom that the World Cup is even on, actually. It's really bringing people together. Oh, yeah, right. Driving Roy Keane and Brazil apart, though. Roy Keane, so he criticised Brazil danced for every one of their goals, the four goals they scored against the Republic of Korea as is their want. Huh. People will remember players like Ronaldinho and Bebeto dancing. Yeah, we all remember, dancing. Like, remember Bebeto yeah. in the 94 after his baby had been rock born the cradle. the Rock in the Cradle thing. Yeah. I did see somebody did like a TikTok mishmash of a lot of footballers dancing. Yeah. I guess It was brilliant. I thought mm. it was great. It's not a problem. But anyway, the people somehow, well, somehow social media has brought Roy Keane's rant in which he sort of said it was disrespectful, uh, that they were doing a jig and that he hasn't seen as much uh, dancing since Strictly. Uh, <laughs> they brought all this to the attention of the people in Brazil. Why showing up with paddles, What's giving them point an point on the disrespect? <laughs> Basically, that it's not showing respect to the opposition, but I think that's well, nonsense. If you're clobbering the opposition, uh, at, at, at the, at being at the mercy of criticizing Roy Keane if, in, a, in a public, if you're forum. clobbering the opposition like Brazil definitely. were, I think you're, you're like you're already disrespecting them by knocking the pants off them on the pitch anyway. So oh, he thinks it's, if, what, he thinks it's like gloating, like he thinks it's quite rude, yeah, which is nonsense. But look, I think it's kind of nice to be honest. Like you're at the World Cup, you've just scored a goal. Like, Celebrate. is there ever like you know is there ever more of a peak moment where you're going to want to like dance with Absolutely joy? Absolutely not. Yeah, no. dead right. But anyway, people oh, in Brazil, right. including a, a leading film producer, said F Roy Keane. <laughs> Um, he hasn't a clue what he's talking about. Wow. Effectively, wow. everybody in Brazil, including like sports stars, you know, cultural people, have come out and hammered Roy Keane because actually it's actually quite interesting. We talked before like about Brazil and the politics there. You know, Bolsonaro has been voted out. Yeah. Hard right thing. How divided Brazil is, and you've got these ongoing protests. The football team is probably one of the few things which is keeping Brazil together. Mm. And you have Neymar, the star of the team, very close to Bolsonaro. And then you have Richarlison, who's probably been the star for them in this tournament. Very left wing, very pro-science at the time. It was very difficult to be mm. like that in Brazil. Mm. Dancing together after scoring goals. Ah. Pretty good. That's yeah. kind of nice. But it's what football's supposed to do is bring people together. And Roy Keane's rocking the boat. But it's brought Brazil together and now being entirely on Team McCarthy for Saipan in 2002. <laughs> <laughs>